mozzarella cheese, tomato sauce, and a soft dough. Same ingredients, but two completely different results. New York pizza versus Napolitan style pizza. Let's find out what's the difference. <sighs> so dramatic. Hi guys, it's Basi and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, we talk about life abroad, cultural differences and we like testing out different things like we'll do today. And make sure to subscribe for more videos like that. Because recently I checked and I saw that 80% of you watching this are not subscribed. And it just broke my heart. So please make sure to subscribe. It will also make my grandma happy because she opens my YouTube channel every day to check how many subscribers I have. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little bit afraid of making the New York pizza at home because I have never made it before, but we'll get into this together. I'm not sure if I want to get into this with you. Hi Ben! Oh hi Nasi, how are you? Good! What are you going to prepare for us today? Uh, today I'll be making a Napolitan style pizza and this is a dish which is very traditional from the region where I'm from. Come check out the ingredients. So we have salt, sugar, warm water, yeast, olive oil and flour. We're just gonna cut it through and see if they're like air bubbles. If we're gonna find air bubbles, it means we did a good job. And voila. And voila. See? Oh, here we can see some air bubbles. See? This is actually a couple of hours later after Ben has already finished with making his dough and it's already proofing. But since his Italian recipe calls for six to eight hours of proofing and mine has only two I'm making this later. Here is the yeast. Just a note the recipe was with dry yeast but supermarkets in London don't have it. I of course am deeply sorry for all the hurt. Salt, sugar, olive oil and of course the flour. Now let's get dirty and mix everything together. The American pizza influence was so strong around the world. I think that uh, the first pizza that I saw when I ate was uh, pizza by slice, which was very New York style. I mean, of course, using like Bulgarian ingredients, so like cultural appropriation level 100. But anyways, it was a lot more similar to the American one than to the Italian. And then Italian one like well-made in restaurants with good ingredients, everything authentic came a lot later. I wish I could time lapse this. And we are ready. Now I'm gonna let it proof. And now I will start preparing the tomato sauce for our New York style pizza. So we have quarter of the canned tomatoes, which is the ingredients for one pizza, then salt, olive oil, oregano, chili flakes, sugar, which I actually didn't really expect, garlic and quarter of an onion. Now let's all blend it in. And here it is. Welcome back to our kitchen. It's my kitchen as well. <laughs> but anyways, so I went ahead and prepared the toppings for our pizza. We have the sauce, which is basically like just some fresh tomatoes, chopped tomatoes with basil, salt and olive oil. It's pretty yummy. So you have only three ingredients in the sauce. No, it's four. Great math skills right there. And here we have some fresh mozzarella that I'll be cutting slices and I'll put over the pizza. A little bit curious what's going on with the dough. Shall we go and have a look? And while Ben is not here and it's not looking, let's also check on his. These are Ben's ones, which actually you can see are way bigger than mine. And to be honest with you, the consistency also looks a bit different, which is crazy because we were using the same ingredients. As you can see, I'm very happy because this has more than doubled in size. Look at that. It's actually very big. I didn't expect so good results considering how it went. So guys, I kind of knew that this will go wrong somewhere on the way. I just didn't know where. I knew I didn't want to get into this with you. 
and after I had almost a breakdown, here is uh, the pizza. Tell us how are you going to prepare your pizza? Now I watched the tutorial. <laughs> speak, speak it out English because I, I don't want to do subtitles. And we start gently pushing it to the border. See? Oh, easy, easy peasy. Look at that. You don't want to touch it too much. You don't want to touch it. Don't touch it. Why am I touching it? So this is the grated mozzarella that we'll be using for the New York style pizza. And I don't know if you can see, but it's a lot more yellow than the other one. And it has more fat. These are the two sauces. You can see that the New York one has a lot more spices and slightly different color than the Italian one. And now we add the tomato sauce. Mamma mia! It really looks fake. Done. I mean, this was our goal, wasn't it? And now we add this grated mozzarella on top. We should use 100 grams. That's a lot. I know, right? We prepared the toppings for our pizza. Let's start with the tomatoes. And you're using a very interesting method here. I see it's in a cooking pan. How come? Yeah, it's so first of all, like, it's gonna stay for like two minutes, hot plate. And afterwards, it's gonna stay in the oven for like five minutes or something. So we don't wanna exaggerate with the mozzarella this time. You know? Like we usually do. Exactly, because then it becomes, you know, like kind of liquidy. Ooh, Wait, voila. And here is the New York style pizza. Here are the two pizzas, a Naples style one, a typical slice in here. I can say many things about this slice, but typical is not one of them. Kind of typical, yes. Welcome to our taste test, guys. So, tell us your oh, yeah. pizza. So this is the Neapolitan style pizza, as you can see. And we have half of the American pizza. Okay. So first I was thinking to compare them by appearance, texture and smell. Visually, what do you think oh. about both? Visually, uh, I think, I mean, this one looks more inviting. I think like, I'm not a fan of the cheese of yeah, the Neapolitan can... pizza. You know, uh, it really looks like shit on top, you know? Yeah, okay. Like, it definitely looks more cheesy. And very, very greasy, I would say. Also, there's no basil. Not to say visually, I also agree with you. This one yeah. is uh, definitely looking more inviting. Yeah. And oh, ooh, in terms really of like texture. More. Uh huh. Texture. Yeah. Here it looks dry. You know, like looks. Mm. See, it's cracky. You know. Well, this one is like very like like bou bouncy, like bouncy. In terms of smell. Smell. <laughs> Yeah, this one is very intense cheese. It. Yes, cheese smell. Yeah, it's too much. And I... this one kind of smells more fresh, and you can feel definitely the base. It's fresh. Yeah. Oh, and something about the texture that I wanted to show uh -huh. is that this one actually holds. It's mine. Falls. Yeah. Sh shake it. Shake it. Shake it up, shake it Ah, uh, see? It, this one stays and yours is... What about the sides? Here I got some bubbles. Do you have bubbles on the side? No, so... no but I don't think it's supposed to have bubbles. Cheers! Cheers! I have to say it tastes better than what I expected. Mm. And it kind of reminds me of... Yeah, a little bit of the pizza in New York, but at the same time, yeah, also of the frozen pizza that you buy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which I guess it's not the best thing to say. That cooks a bit more, but our oven just like... Heats at the bottom, not at the top. Look, I just flipped the switch. The second one, I don't like the garlic on pizza. It tastes more like a marinara and looks like a margarita. Mm. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna keep eating. Mm, no, again, not the, mm, just not the, the fan. mozzarella here is definitely better, and you can feel that the tomato is not as intense. It was my turn. Um, yeah, mozzarella is too oily. I don't think the garlic kind of works here. One dollar New York, this works fine, but I have 99 per month. I 100% prefer that one. Why did I say 99? 100%. Like, I feel like there are pizzas for different occasions. So, in which occasion would you eat each one? In case you haven't noticed, we're talking about two different types of pizzas and not two outfits, so it doesn't really go by occasion. There's like an American themed office party. I would say if you're hangover and you feel very bad and you want like something really like greasy and kind of more satisfying, you might want to go for this one. 
But yeah, in terms of taste, this one is definitely the winner. This is time to challenge you guys to try to make a pizza home. Send us pictures. It's your choice, guys. And don't forget to subscribe to make my grandma happy. That's key for. <laughs>